Okay, this is the product we're showing today. I'm gonna start by emptying this out so you can see how much is in the package. As you see, there's quite a bit in this package. We're gonna start off with a small portion enough to make an eight ounce gel. We're gonna grab a piece about like this. You see we have clay left in the bag. We're gonna start by washing this piece off. This is just regular filtered water. Gonna wash it thoroughly. Actually, gonna need a little bit more than this. Gonna grab another little small piece. Make sure we have enough for the eight ounce. We're gonna wash this very thoroughly. Make sure we get all the debris off of it. Since this is actually from the sea, you may find some uh, seashells, sometimes a little bit of rock or dirt, but it's nothing to be concerned about as this is an actual wildcrafted product. So that's what you should expect. If you have a wildcrafted product and it's completely clean and there is no sort of sea debris in it, you should actually be leery because that's probably not actually wildcrafted, probably pool or farmed. So I think this is about good. Shake it off a little bit. Okay, so you see how much wind up there. It should be nice and clean. You'll see there are some slight variations in the color. There may, may be some green in there or some other colors, but this is what a wild crafted product should look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to another bowl. Now with what we have here, Gonna soak it in some alkaline water. You can also use filtered water, but you do not want to use tap water. Next, we're gonna add some lime to it. Gonna cut up a little bit of lime and throw that in. We'll let this sit and we'll come back to it in four hours. So here we are after four hours. It had a chance to soak, it's doubled in size at least, and it's at a softer consistency. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the sea moss. We're gonna pour some hot water over it. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next step. At this point, we will remove the sea moss. We're gonna put this in a glass container.
try to get as much out as you can. You can also sift it if you want, use a colander. And the water that's behind, you can um, use that for a facial mask. You can use it to add to your hair. Um, some people use it to feed their plants. So it has many other uses. Now we're gonna take some hot water. We're gonna cover the sea moss with hot water. You'll learn over time that you don't wanna use a whole lot. The less you use, the better because your sea moss will be too watery. Your gel will come out watery if you put too much water. So at this point, I let this sit on the counter probably for four to six hours. And then once it's cold, I'll leave in the refrigerator overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and step away from this and we'll come back. Okay, so we've let our sea moss sit overnight take a look at how it is it's a uh, much softer consistency next thing we're going to do is run it through the blender this is just a it's a commercial blender but this is actually a type that you can find a very similar one at um, any local store walmart target any place like that uh, Keep in mind, the stronger the blender, the easier it is for your gel to come together. If you have a really strong blender, you can actually avoid the step of hot water steeping. If you let it sit overnight at room temperature with regular alkaline water, when you come back after, after you've let it sit, if you have a strong blender, it will actually whip up and it will be fine. This is gonna be noisy, so I'm gonna fast forward through this. Okay, so now we've run this through the blender. You can take a look at the consistency. I'm gonna pour this back in the container. And try to scoop everything out. We'll let this sit overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Okay, so we've let this product sit overnight. You take a look and see how the gel is. It's very thick. If you like it to be thicker, you can add less water. And if you want it thinner, you can add more water. This is generally enough for a tablespoon every day for one person. If you need more, then make more when you start off your gel. Usually lasts for about at least two weeks. Just keep it in the refrigerator. And um, all the products come with instructions on the back, or you can return to this video if you're not sure what to do. But thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.